Question. Senator Wish Wilson. Thank you, President. My question is to the Minister representing the Treasurer, Senator Cormann. This week I was made aware by MICA Challenge of the fact that developing countries lose $160 billion of revenue through multinational, multinational tax evasion every year. No doubt other senators in this chamber also received that information. Your government has led Australians to believe that they are taking action on multinational tax evasion through the G20. Will the Australian government sign an information sharing agreement for global action on multinational tax evasion, which countries including Germany and Britain have already signed? The Minister representing the Treasurer, Senator Cormann. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I thank uh, Senator Bish Wilson uh, for that question. And as he rightly points out, this government is committed uh, to ensuring uh, that uh, uh, multinational uh, businesses who operate in Australia and indeed who operate in other parts of the world uh, pay uh, appropriate levels of tax uh, in relation to the profits that are generated uh, either here or in other parts of the world. And of course, uh, as uh, Senator Wish Wilson also indicated, uh, it is appropriate for these uh, sorts of uh, issues to be resolved. Uh, at an international level, because if we were to take uh, unilateral action, uh, then of course uh, we would put uh, at risk uh, our capacity to grow our economy more strongly. Unilateral action uh, would potentially impact our international competitiveness, uh, which is why, which is why uh, the Treasurer, uh, Mr. Hockey, uh, is uh, pursuing uh, the issues uh, that, Ms. that Senator Wish Wilson uh, has raised uh, very uh, proactively and energetically uh, with, uh, through the uh, G20. Uh, fora, and of course, uh, as you would be aware, uh, Australia right now has uh, the uh, privilege of uh, chairing uh, the G20. We had a, a meeting of uh, finance ministers and central bank uh, governors uh, in uh, Sydney earlier this year, and that will be followed uh, up with a uh, leaders uh, forum in uh, Queensland, the great state of Queensland, uh, later, later this year. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm confident uh, that we will be uh, making order. Senator Wish Wilson. Perhaps Senator Cormann was going to get around to it, but I, I asked if they were going to sign an information sharing agreement which has already been signed by countries such as Germany and Britain. I'll take it that that's a point of order, but there's no point of order at this stage. There's 37 seconds remaining, the Minister. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr President. Uh, I was directly relevant, of course, to the question that was asked. Uh, this government uh, will continue uh, to progress uh, our commitment uh, to ensure that multinational companies pay their fair share of tax in relation to profits generated uh, here in Australia uh, in an orderly and methodical fashion, uh, including through the appropriate international uh, fora such as uh, the G20, because that is ultimately the only way that we can conclusively uh, make progress in relation to these sorts of issues. And the wish, Wilson. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, it has been reported that despite Glencore Strata having coal revenue of almost 15 billion Australian dollars over the past three years, that's revenue from their Australian coal operations. It pays almost no Australian company tax. Does the minister agree with this assessment, and does the minister find this an acceptable situation? The minister. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Consistent uh, with well-established practice, it would be completely uh, inappropriate for me uh, to talk about the specific uh, tax affairs of individual taxpayers. Uh, what I would say, though, uh, again, is to make the general point. Uh, that we would expect uh, that all businesses, including multinational businesses operating in Australia, pay their fair share of tax in relation uh, to profits uh, that are generated in Australia. That is something uh, that uh, we uh, continue uh, to pursue in order to ensure that that appropriately takes place. Uh, the most appropriate way to pursue uh, these important issues uh, is through international fora uh, like the G20, which is what uh, Treasurer uh, Mr Hockey uh, is doing uh, very uh, energetically as we speak. Senator Wish Wilson. Thank you, Mr President. Um, is the minister able to give the Senate today uh, a current estimate from the government of multinational tax already avoided in Australia, and is the government prepared to name and shame corporate tax avoidance? Order. 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 The Minister. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr uh, President. The government will continue to act uh, in the national interest uh, on all matters, including and in particular uh, in relation to the broader issues he raises. Uh, I don't believe uh, that the suggestions that uh, Senator uh, Wish Wilson has made uh, here today are particularly constructive uh, or would be particularly effective.